Assalamualaikum and um, good morning guys. Hmm. Beta glucan is among the most researched fiber derived functional ingredients. Primarily isolated from oats and barley, beta glucan has been researched by scientists all over the world. Um, they have evaluated the health promoting properties of beta glucans as a functional ingredient in cookies, crackers, pasta, cereal, breads, and juice. Health benefits resulting from consumption of beta glucan include a meaningful improvement in cardiovascular and diabetes risk factors including significant reductions in total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, postprandial glucose, um, postprandial insulin, and satiety. Uh, the health benefits uh, can be attributed to its ability to produce a highly viscous mass in the digestive tract to slow the gastric emptying and interfere with micronutrient absorption. A range of factors um, such as uh, food preparations, the food metrics for beta-glucan delivery, uh, the beta-glucan extraction and processing, and the dose need consideration when adding beta-glucan to foods as bioactives. There are a lot of studies on the effect of food metrics on beta-glucan efficacy. A lot of scientists have shown that cooking temperature, pressure, baking time, starch, gelatinization, um, all have effect on postprandial glycemic responses of different food products. In one study by Toranen et al. 1992, they use a large dose of beta glucan of 11 gram per day um, of oat brand derived beta glucan um, at a lowering lipid level study in hypercholesterolemic men. However, uh, the, this dose, even though it's very high, was ineffective of lowering the lipid levels. It was due to the poor solubility of beta-glucan in the bread matrix. Other than the food matrix, uh, the next is the effect of extraction and processing. Um, this can make all the difference regarding the capacity for beta-glucan to transform an ordinary food into a functional food. The ability of, uh, for beta-glucan to produce a viscous mass in the gastrointestinal tract ultimately depends on the solubility of beta-glucan fractions. Different uh, fractions or molecular weights of beta-glucan confer different solubilities and contribute to viscosity. Depending on the extraction procedure, the molecular weight of beta-glucan can vary and produce either a high molecular weight extract with higher viscosity or a low molecular weight product with lower viscosity but greater palatability. A number of, of studies have indicated a direct relationship between molecular weight, viscosity and efficacy. Uh, both viscosity and molecular weight contribute significantly to the ability of beta-glucan to reduce postprandial glucose and insulin levels. Finally, the choice of source of beta-glucan as an ingredient could significantly contribute to whether beta-glucan fortified foods become functional. Beta-glucan, as you know, it is uh, mostly uh, derived from oats and barley. Therefore, we can expect the physical chemical properties of beta-glucan from uh, oats or barley will differ dramatically. 
For example, the beta-glucan content in barley and oats has been shown to range between 3 and 6.9% and 2.2 and 4.2% respectively. Nonetheless, uh, 70 to 80% of the beta-glucan found in the oats are soluble compared to only 15 to 54% in barley. There is one study that showed the importance of high molecular weight in beta-glucan derived from oats, um, which, which has around 200,000 kilodalton as uh, con compared to the uh, K, uh, molecular weight of beta-glucan derived from barley, which is around 40,000 kilodalton. The beta-glucan from oats were likely highly soluble and better able to form highly viscous digester in the gastrointestinal tract. So, as you can see, uh, number one, food metrics. Um, number two is the extraction and processing. And number three, the source. These three factors are important factors in determining the efficacy of beta-glucan. Um, we'll do more in class. Uh, hope you come to class. <laughs> anyway, happy learning. Take care, guys.